bottle rockets were a really fun and exciting way that the children can use science on the playground. Today we are going to do an amazing, fantastic scientific experiment. This experiment is going to involve these tablets that you may have seen at home, paracetamol, but these are fizzy paracetamol. When these paracetamol hit the water, this is what happens. Look. Okay, so there's a chemical reaction now between the water and the tablets. And in all of those bubbles is carbon dioxide. Okay, so it's a bit like fizzy drinks that you have. All the bubbles in there have got carbon dioxide, you see? Has any of you seen anything like that before? Yeah. Okay. Now, is that fun? No. No? Okay. So we're going to do something really exciting. That wasn't really much fun. I'm going to fill this halfway with water. Okay. Get my jar ready. And then what I'm going to do is Michael's going to quickly put those tablets in. I'm going to quickly do up the lids, shake it. Shake it, you. Shh. You don't shake it, man. Yeah! Woo! Yes! 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 different size bottles, how many paracetamols you're going to use, and what type of water, because listen, we have hot water, warm water, and cold. Whoever rockets goes the highest is gonna win a prize. These types of headache tablets contain a chemical which reacts with water to produce carbon dioxide gas. This gas builds up inside the bottle until the pressure is enough to pop the lids. When the lid pops, it pushes down on the bottom of the glass, which results in an upwards push on the bottle, a bit like the way you can jump up in the air by pushing down on the ground. Once in the air, the liquid coming out of the bottle pushes it along in the same way as the gases coming out of a real rocket propels it upwards. In order for it to fly up, do you think there has to be any space between the lid and the bottom of the cup? You think there has to be space? No, we need no space, we need frost. Why does there have to be no space between the lid and the bottom of the cup? We need more frost. Why are you using big bottles? Because uh, then it will go higher. Okay, because it will go higher. It has more space to like fizz up. One of the things you can investigate with this activity is how the temperature of the water affects the reaction. As some of the children today found out, the hotter the water, the more vigorously the tablets produce a gas. This is because in hot water, the molecules of chemicals from the tablet and the water particles have more energy and move more quickly. This means they collide with each other more often, which results in more chemical reactions in a given time. Right, these bottle rockets are a really fun and exciting way to introduce your children to science. If you're interested, please go on our website, subscribe for more activities and download the info sheet for this one and we look forward to seeing videos and pictures of you and your children doing the same thing.